Dubai Ports Authority recently invited people to get ready to invest through a special purpose vehicle. Can you tell us what a special purpose vehicle is? A special purpose entity, often called a special purpose vehicle, it's pretty much a corporate tool that is used to carry out various business purposes. Um, sometimes <coughs> it's used to raise funds, as would be the case here. Um, sometimes it's just um, other means, well, a uh, business may um, choose. Uh, it can take different forms, uh, trusts, limited partnerships, uh, limited liability companies. Um, how we intend to proceed is to incorporate a company, limited liability company called the Tortola Pay Park Limited. And that entity we will use to um, raise funding for the Cruise Bear project. So through that vehicle, um, we'll be actually issuing a public offering. And the point of it really is to gather the required funds for the balance of the Cruise Bear, the land side development. Yes. Well, clearly the, the use of an SPV, what it does basically is it isolates the, the project into one particular entity whereby individuals can participate in that one entity knowing that the performance of that one entity justifies the returns that the individuals so receive. If you, let's say for instance, looked at another company or another entity, then the individual as an investor is exposed to the different debts and so forth of that particular company by separating and creating an SPV specifically for just the peer project, then persons can only participate in, in that project and the performance of that project results in the return to the individuals. Um, in looking at the overall economic growth in terms of annual GDP, annual inflationary pressures, all of that is factored into the overall financial analysis to determine whether the project is a feasible one, whether the project is even more than just feasible, but also feasible enough to award the returns that the project is being awarded right now. You, you have an opportunity here, uh, the investor, for seven, 10, and 15 year uh, uh, periods. Uh, the return, the rate of return on the, on the seven year is 5.75. Mm -hmm. On 10, is 6.75. At the 15 uh, term is 8.45 annual per annum rate of return. So uh, what's also a good benefit of this, and, and Mr. Faulkner, whose skill set is far better than me in this area, uh, it's, it's principle protected. Allow me to use that, I can use that term, yeah. right? Yeah. It's principle protected. So if you invest $5,000 uh, for seven years, you will get a rate of return of 5.75 every year during those seven years, and on the eighth year, you can be assured that you will get your $5,000 back. Along and so it is. Along with the annualized dividend. Along with the annualized. And so it is with the 10 and the 15 year period. And you, you and, and Mr. Faulkner, please uh, elaborate on this. But I know certainly you can't get anything close to that at a, at a bank. <laughs> and so talk, talk, talk a little bit about that for us. Well, when you, when you look at the banking industry right now, many, many citizens in the territory continue to ask, why are interest rate, why are savings rate at such a, a, a low level? Um, if you follow what is going on globally as well, um, obviously the U.S. is using stimulus packages to try and grow the economy and so forth. So investors here on the island are looking for an opportunity to say, what can I put my money into that gives me a better rate of return? And clearly, this is an opportunity. Obviously, the 10 years that we have is seven years, 10 years and 15 years, as Ms. Vanderpool highlighted. And the, the return over that point in time, if you even had to look at an investment opportunity on the international market, getting a guaranteed principal protected note anywhere close to five and three quarters rate of return is highly unlikely. So here's an opportunity where I think it's a win-win situation for citizens where they can not only participate by renting or leasing property over at the Pier Park, but they also can participate in terms of the financing mechanism that rewards them with a dividend annually for the tenure that they saw through.